months of debate, the D.C. Council passed its controversial crime bill tonight. City leaders say Secure D.C. will give police and prosecutors the tools they need to tackle hot-button issues plaguing our city, like carjackings, gun violence, and theft. But is it enough to drive these crimes down? News 4's Walter Morris is in the district tonight with the details. There are 12 yeses and one present. Uh, thank you, Madam Secretary. The bill is approved unanimously. Tuesday, D.C. Council giving the green light to secure D.C. Council member Brooke Pinto's comprehensive anti-crime bill has been a hot topic for months, making several changes to D.C.'s criminal code, like increasing penalties for gun crimes, making it easier for judges to hold violent crime suspects in jail, and expanding the definition of carjackings. This amendment would still allow approximately 6,000 individuals to have their DNA taken without ever having been convicted of a single crime. After much debate, council giving the okay to a controversial provision allowing police to collect DNA samples from suspects after they've been charged and the judge finds probable cause, while others taking issue with establishing drug-free zones. The idea of creating um, drug-free zones when the entire city already is a drug-free zone, I believe doesn't solve the issue. After the vote, the mayor releasing a statement saying, this is a critical step in the work to build a safer D.C. I am grateful for the leadership of Council Member Pinto and all the council members who listened to the concerns of our community and voted in support of common sense legislation. And a rep for the mayor's office says she will sign off on Secure D.C. as soon as council sends it to her desk, but Congress has to approve it before it becomes law. In the district, Walter Morris, News 4.